how's it going everybody it's me Scudog. thank you very much for joining us as you can see we are about to start playing some Balatro uh, we played a, or made a couple of videos on the channel about Balatro in its demo phase is now out in its full release on Steam £12.99 and I'm really excited about this this is in my eyes one of the games of the year uh, I suspect it's a poker roguelike um, it's uh, it's a deck building game we're going to get into it we're going to play quite a lot of it I would imagine over here we've got a collection uh, as as you work your way through the game you'll be able to unlock various jokers decks vouchers I'll talk about what they do as we go through the game uh, and we'll see how far we get in this first video to see how easy it is to unlock things and go through it I will do my absolute best to explain what we're looking at uh, as we go and uh, let's get into it so first things first we've got these decks now, different types of decks have different effects on them. The one we've got is we get an additional discard every round. We have a difficulty down here. We can't change this because it's the first time we've played, but we can work our way through different difficulties. Seeded run, if we wanted to uh, to, to have a, a copy of seed from somewhere else and play that, that seed. Um, and then we've just got the play button. We're just going to hit it. We'll get straight into it. So if you don't know anything about poker, don't worry too much about it. It's pretty self-explanatory once we get into it. Um, what you'll see down here is we've got our deck. Our deck is a standard 52 card deck. Nothing nothing exciting about it over here. Um, then we've got the object of the game is to beat each round. So you can see here we've got these things called blinds. This first blind over here, we need to score 300 out of four rounds to be able to progress past this, this blind. On to the next one, they're called the small the big and then I think it's the ante um, and and here what you'll see is the last round in each one you have a boss so this boss in this instance all club cards are debuffed which means you can't score from them and we have to score 600 to get past them when you get past this all of the blinds go up and you move on to the new the new boss we'll have a look at that in a bit of detail as we go um, just to talk about hands before we go any further you score points by playing hands and as you can see here, these are the standard poker hands. So we won't go through all of them as they come up. We'll talk about them, but high card, whatever the number is uh, of that card, is you know, the highest card that you've played is the high card. Pair, two pairs, three of a kind, all self-explanatory. Straight just means you've got a run of cards. They can be any suits, but they go from, uh, from one number all the way to another number in order. Then flush means they're all of the same suit. Full house means you have three of a kind and a pair. Four of a kind, pretty self-explanatory. Straight flush means they run from one number to another number in sequential order, but they're all the same suit. And over here, what you can see is the uh, the value of these hands. So if we were to play a straight flush, we'd get 100 chips and we'd times it by eight. We'd also get the value of each of the cards played. So in this case, we get a 10 for a queen, 10 for a jack, 10 for a 10, 9 for a 9, 8 for an 8. Add all of those to this number, times it by eight. And that's our score for the round. That's how we're going to be trying to get this 300. So let's go into it. We do have the opportunity to skip blind. So you can see down here, we could skip this, this blind and we get the reward plus three hand size for the next round. There's another one down here. That will all become apparent as we go. Last thing I just want to point out, we've got this little consumable slot up here. We can have two consumables unused at any point in time. We've also got this slot here for jokers and jokers will make sense as we look at them. Hopefully that's a good enough explanation but through the first round we'll talk about what we're doing so we can sort our hand by rank or by suit so you can see here we got four hearts we could potentially try and play a pair of eights you can see over here we'll get 10 times two plus eight plus eight uh, so 26 times two will be our score over there but we're probably better off trying to search for either a straight or in this case a flush so i'm going to discard all four of these and hope that we get another heart which we don't i'm just going to suit this sort this to suit um so we can then discard these again we're looking for another heart which we don't get we're we're pushing for a we're pushing for a flush there we go we do get one so queen 10 8 7 two of hearts gives us a flush 35 times four we can play this hand see what we get over here obviously we're adding the value of each of these cards so you can see 72 times four not quite enough to get there but this pair of jacks should get us over the line if we just sort this back by rank we could play some other cards in here if we wanted to 
In fact, we probably should just play a couple to get rid of them. They won't score in this hand, but it's a good way of kind of rotating your deck. So we're going to throw away the six, the five and the two. You'll see only the two jacks score, but it just means if we don't make it to 300, we'd have something else to, to be then be dealt to us. But we don't need to worry about that. We're at three, four, eight. Jobs are good. And the problem, the problem with this is we played two hands, which means we get less money. If we'd have been able to score 300 in one hand, we'd have uh, we'd have got over the line and had an extra dollar to our name. Dollars are really important because at the end of the round, you get to buy things. So let's talk about the shop. Rerolls cost $5. Jokers, you can see these jokers had an effect. So this joker takes six, costs six bucks. It creates a tarot card. A tarot card is something that can change cards in your deck. Uh, might give you more money, might double a double the number of cards you've got in a certain you know type of card or something similar. Um, we've got this joker here, earn $2 per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. So we do get four discards, but we're likely to use them trying to make good hands. Uh, we do have this. Now, spectral packs are interesting. They kind of really potentially can change up your deck quite a lot. So I'm going to go and spend $4 on this. This could give us something to focus our whole run on. Um, so at the moment, what we've got is a, a row of cards. We could add a negative joker to a random joker. We don't have any, so this is pointless. So we're going to have to take this one. We could skip it, but we're going to take this one. Gives us a rare joker, but sets our money to five to zero. So we're going to lose five bucks, but it is going to give us a joker. Um, the obelisk. Time 0.2 molt. So whatever this red number is, we're going to times it by 0.2 molt per consecutive hand played without playing your most played poker hand this is probably one of the most complicated jokers what this means is if we come over to our run over here you can see we've played a flush and we've played a pair so every time we play something that's a zero in here we're going to add zero times 0 0.2 to this one at the bottom here the problem is i think when we play a a um a hand that is our most play let's say we play a flush we're going to go back to zero to one so it's probably not the best card for us but is what we've got for now we've spent all of our money we're gonna have to try and get to 450 easier said than done i think that one okay what have we got here i guess what we could do is we could let's throw these guys away and we'll see if we can get straight uh, so king jack 10 we need a nine right we need a nine i'm gonna throw you guys away and we're searching for it we're looking for a nine or an ace oh that's perfect right so we've now got a straight so 30 times four uh we can play this which is going to add 0 0.2 to our multiplier up here so you can see times 1.2 so we get 379 pretty good but the problem is now we can't play a flush a straight or a pair we could play a high card we could play three of a kind we could do a number of things none of them massively useful i'm going to discard these we'll look for a full house and we've got it so if we play all for five of these we've got a full house and again it's putting us to a place where where we're, we're able to, to add some more malt. The problem being is we're not going to be able to play a hand that doesn't destroy that fairly soon. This joker is a real tough one to get to work. Um, it's nice to be able to build the malt. Really powerful to get a multiplier on these things. Um, a multiplication of a multiplication, but really tough to make this one work. Okay, what have we got here? All flushes and straights can be made with four cards. That's huge, but I don't think it helps me. Although, that said, so the problem we've got, this joker isn't going to multiply anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to sell this because I'm really going to struggle to make this work. I'm going to sell this and I'm going to buy this joker. So all flushes and straights can be made with four cards. And then I'm going to buy this planet card. Now, planet cards level up a hand. So if we come over to our run info, we can find a straight is 30 times four. If we buy and use this card, we're back down to zero bucks. It's going to times our multiplier by two and 
uh, sorry add two to our multiplier and add 30 to our our chip so now when we play a straight we're getting 60 times six which is huge and it's easier to make straights and flushes but we want to be aiming for straights really so now we're on the boss you can see here all of the club cards are debuff which means we don't score for them um, equally we don't have a straight anywhere right so i'm going to discard you guys and we'll see what we end up with okay so still no straights we could go down the flush road it doesn't really help us but i'm gonna try i think okay Ooh, this is a rough one this is a rough one we've kind of abandoned our We've abandoned our straight for a flush and we don't get it. Oof. 10 jack queen. If we could get a king, we'd be in a pretty good place. I'm going for it. I've got to, I think. Nice. 10 jack queen king ace. So a high scoring straight. We are using five cards. We could have used four, so we could have potentially made that work before. But having all of these score is better than, than not. And it's giving us enough to get over the line. Only just. 666 we won't read too much into that but we got there and sometimes it's just about pushing your luck obviously we had three hands left but we had no discards if we'd have not made it on that one we'd have then been at the liberty of whatever we drew out of the deck okay so up to eight bucks what have we got here gain multiplier for every card added to your deck that seems like it could be really important my only concern is I don't know if we're going to get through the next round. I'm going to buy it and we'll see what we can do. We can't add any cards to our deck right now. One thing I haven't mentioned is over here is um, we've got $1. If we had $5 in our hand at the end of a round, we, um, we, get, uh, we get interest. We haven't been in that situation yet, but I'll show you when it, when it happens. I'm quite tempted to skip this one, but I'm really worried that we won't be able to hit this. So I'm going to have to take it. The reason I'm tempted to skip is we'd get free packs and cards in the shop. Everything would be free pretty much. Um, but I think we need the money. Um, so we're looking for straights or flushes. Straights are better for us than flushes, but we don't really have any. I'm going to discard these, I think. Hasn't really helped me. Okay, that has helped. Again, high, high straight is going to get us really close. Not close enough, but it's going to get us close. Exactly the same score as we saw before because our multiplier is multiplying by one. Okay. So we do have a straight because we can use four cards rather than rather than five so we'll do that again and that's why this is really really important um 600 points gets us over the line would have got us to the next one if we'd have had those two hands to begin with but now we're looking for cards to add to our deck the more cards we can add the more multiplier obviously the more cards we've got the harder potentially it is to draw what we want the good news is down here allows us to add a card to our deck and I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the jumbo pack. It's gonna spend all of our money, and then we're gonna add a card. Now, the good thing about these is they have some of them have special effects. So you can see this is a steel card. So if it's in our hand, we'll get a 1.5 times multiplier. We've got the lucky card. If it's in our hand, if we play it, we have a chance of one in five chance of 20 mult or a one in 15 chance of 20 bucks. This one just always adds a four times multiplier. This one re-triggers this card multiple times. This might be really useful because we can use it in a straight as the start of a straight, ace, two, three, four, or we can use it at the end. The lucky card is really nice, but I'm going to take this because it might just open up our chances and it gives us a multiplier. We don't have any more money. Uh, we could skip to get an uncommon joker, but we haven't got any money to buy. Okay, this is nice so we'll play this because i think that will show you show us what we were talking about so this is only a four card one but because we've got the joker it's going to trigger twice sorry the the, the trigger is going to trigger twice then we're going to get a 1.25 multiplier 
840. Pretty good hand to begin with. We've now got three of a kind. It's only three times, 30 times three, so it's not amazing. But we could get rid of some of these cards here. And we'll see what we end up with. Don't think it's good. It's not going to be enough to get us over the line, but it's, it's going to get us close. Okay. So we've got a pair of aces. We've got four, six, seven. A five would be nice. I'm going to discard these and see what we get. Three, four, five, six, seven. If we get rid of our three, we can play an eight. And our straight should absolutely do it for us. By a long way. So now we've got now we've got something to aim for. Adding cards to our deck is going to increase our multiplier. The problem is it's expensive. Um, so we need to start building an economy to, to really drive this forward. That is sometimes easier said than done. Uh, we've got another joker. When blind is selected, destroy joker to the right and permanently add double its sell value to the malt. So really nice if you've got a joker that you want to get rid of. I think we're just going to add another card to our deck for now. We probably need more ways of multiplying. So we have a few things. We've got this queen, which will add 50 chips, which is nice when you times it by the multiplier. We've got this king, which will uh, create a tarot card when this is discarded. And that could go really well with building our, our deck. Um, so I think I'm going to take this. Although the lucky card is good, I think I'm going to take this. And because we added it, we got our 1.5 multiplier. We've only got $1, so we're going to have to move on. This is going to be a tough one to get to the end, I have to say. Start with zero discards. That's really rough. Oof. We're going to have to, I was going to say, we're going to have to hope that we can make... So I can't discard the king. That really is annoying. Okay, we've got our five cards straight, so that's pretty nice. It's going to get us quite a way towards it, especially with a 1.5 multiplier. Okay, perfect. But we're not going to be able to build hands here, which is a real pain. I've got no discards, so I'm going to have to get rid of these, I think. What we can do is we can look over here to see what cards we've still got left in our our deck how many cards we've got to play so over here you can see we've got two queens in our deck versus three kings so we're better off getting rid of the queen because we're not going to get more queens um i think we're just going to go play this card high card uh, with a 10 not great only 22 we're, we're looking for another race or something to make a full um full house or something to be able to to um to make a straight which we're nowhere near well that's not true we've got an ace a two a three if we could find a four which there are three in the deck we might be pretty good so let's get rid of these we're searching for a four i'm gonna play this ace i think we've got to go all out and this is going to trigger twice so it's at least going to give us something better than we had last time around not a lot we have one hand left. We need a four. Oh, oh. Do we want the ace? Do we want this? I guess the ace is better. Okay. I think this has maybe saved our bacon. It should do, right? Because a normal straight was around 666. So over the line only just. As you can see, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. We need more multipliers happening. We're not. We've not got enough money is the short answer. We only add five bucks. This is nice though, right? This is huge for us. Plus 100 chips. If your hand contains a straight, we need to take it. We need to put it over here. We need to be searching for those straights. Right, what's next? Uh, gain $1 per hand played this round would give us 14 bucks. Would be nice. Uh, only play one hand type. That's all fine. Right, we've got... We've got something that's going to drive our straights at least. Um, seven, eight, nine doesn't get us there. We could play a full house. I don't see why we wouldn't do that. It's not getting any boost really other than the 1.5, but it's a good start of a, a reasonably strong base, right? Not as much as I was hoping for, right? We're looking for straights. Stop giving me, stop giving me full houses. I don't want them. Okay, 
I'm going to get rid of these. And I guess we get rid of the three, right? So we are playing a straight. It's not a great one, but you know what? No, let's keep that. Let's get rid of the king. I think. Just because we've got an ace that can work either way uh, on a straight. So as you can see, we've got the 100 coming up straight away. So that's huge for us. Huge. But we still need to make another straight. Pair of kings would be good, but I think I'm going to actually discard you and you. Silly as it sounds, I'm searching for a two, really. That gives us a, a tarot card, which is great. We can now play this straight. Now, we probably want to come over here and on this ace, play this gold card. So what it means, if we keep it in our hand, we're going to get some more money. Uh, so we're going to play ace, two, three, four. There's another straight and we're playing it now. Should be enough to get us over the line again. The ace is going to trigger twice. So it's essentially like a five card, uh, five card straight. And that 100 chips is really helpful where we are. There's our free bucks. Now we're up to five bucks. What you should see over here is we get our free bucks for defeating the, the, the round. We get one for having one hand remaining. We also get one interest. So 10 bucks. Okay. Now we want to be able to add cards to our deck and we don't really have a way of doing that. This banana is pretty good. It gives us 15 multiplier. We might need it just to get over the line. So it's going to give us 15 times multiplier. However, there's a one in four chance that it gets destroyed at the end of each round. So hopefully we can keep it for four rounds or three rounds and get over the line. Huge straight to begin with. This should, this should probably get us there because we're going to get our 100 and then we're going to times it by 15. Then we're going to times it by 1.5. So these flames indicate you've got the score you needed and that's why this is so important. Safe at the end of this, so fantastic. We get more money, that's what we need. And we get our interest, so adding to our deck is huge. Okay. What we've got down here, we've got some jumbo standard packs. I think we're going to need to buy those to continue to build this multiplier. Now what, let's talk about these. We've got this double tag. What that means, if you know the, the reward you get when you skip a blind, you'd get that rewarded twice if you sold this card before skipping. Uh, the Priestess is going to add two planet cards, which I think we're going to take as well. We just need to choose one of these. I'm going to go with this one. We should really be trying to keep our money and adding to it, but we uh, we won't. I'm going to take this five of hearts just simply because it's a it's got a, a multiplier. That's going to give us up to 1.75. I'm also going to, you know what? I've got to buy another one of these, right? I've just got to keep trying to build this multiplier because it's huge. This is nice. So we've got a polychrome seven of diamonds. So that's going to add a 1.5 multiplier when we play it. We've got this glass red seal, which means it will give us two more times multiplier, but it's got a one in four chance of being destroyed. And then we've got a gold card with a planet on there. If we hold that at the end, we're going to uh, we're going to get a planet card and three bucks, but I think we're going to take this. We're up to two times multiplier, huge, huge for us. Uh, only play one type of round hand. That's fine. We want to be playing straight, so we just need one of those. We don't have one. I'm going to throw you lot away and just see what we get. Oof. Ace, oh hold on, ace, two, three, we need a four, or we need a six. Well this is rough. I'm gonna have to throw away this gold card I think. Oh, I really want to be throwing more cards away. Um, we've got four fours in the deck. And we got four sixes in the deck, so did we just try and play this? Hmm, I'm going for the sixes, I think. That didn't go as well as I hoped. However, that's pretty nice. 
that's pretty nice a royal flush is pretty nice um a hundred times eight that's gonna score us uh straight flush plus the eight doesn't make any difference but let's play it just gonna give us extra chips to it so we should i think we'll be pretty close to being well over the line with this one hopefully perfect that was really fortunate i didn't realize you could get we got an achievement that's nice i didn't realize you could get a straight flush a royal flush with only four of them that's pretty sweet but this hand has come up clutch okay a new deck has been unlocked got eight bucks a new joker has been unlocked all because we scored a pretty uh pretty big hand um a couple of jokers if uh plus eight malt if a pair is played and this one is each face card held in hand has a one in two chance of give a, a dollar. We want to buy this standard pack. You can see we've now got 56 cards in our hand. Um, I think we take the, the one with the red seal on just because it's got a multiplier on it. Um, and then I think we've only got five bucks. So I think we're going to hold off. Let's hit next. Okay. Booster cards are three. I'm going to, I'm going to take it uh, and let's hit select over here okay we're looking for straights again seven eight nine ten jack would be nice i'm gonna get rid of all of you we're looking for an eight god damn it i mean we have got this but i'm tempted to keep pushing whilst we've still got it let's say an eight comes in huge with this so seven eight nine and jack because we're going to get our 100 times 1.5 times 2.25 not as much as we needed that's pretty rough okay seven would would be nice That's pretty nice. I mean, we could play it this way as well, right? Is this the best way of, of playing these? I think so, yeah. Definitely the only way we can play it. We might be in trouble here. Okay, eight, seven, six, five is another straight at least. Don't know what we do next round uh, we should get there i think maybe not oh only just love that love that we're hanging on we're not really we're not really improving each round but we are going to have a free shop which could be huge for us we need good things in the shop what have we got here earn an extra not really what we needed earn an extra one interest for every five bucks you have in the hand when blind is selected, create two common jokers must have room. Well, we're definitely going to take you. You can see we're four or five here. I don't think you, I mean, you help with the score, but I don't think you help us. This could be interesting. Um, this is going to add, potentially add cards to our hand. So add a red seal, create two copies of a selected card, creates a rare joker and set money to zero. Add a negative joker. I think we want to create two copies of this maybe. And I'm hoping we'll see this go up. Perfect. And then we're going to buy you as well. Uh, we're going to get the maximum sale value of our jokers, which is 10 bucks. Enhance one card to a steel card or enhance two cards to multi. I think we go with two cards to multi. We need to start building more multipliers in our in our deck. Okay. So I'd, I'd be interesting though, I presume this is just going to build one for us. I'm tempted to buy this and then we'll sell it when we get to the boss, if we get to the boss. We're at the boss now. No, we're at this one, right? No, we're at the boss now. One in seven cards gets drawn face down. Ouchie. I am going to sell you straight away and then we're going to play this round. So it's made a joker. First place, first played face card gets two malt. Okay. This is going to hinder making straights, right? I'm 
Okay, we'll see what we get. Not really what we wanted, right? Uh, we'll get rid of you, we'll get rid of one of you, we'll keep you and get rid of you, right? I guess. What we do know is because the way these are sorted, we know we've probably got a flush here. Or likely got a flush maybe. Um, but if we keep this sorted by this, what we can tell is these are going to be low cards. So we can get rid of all of these. We're looking for a jack and a king. Ugh. That's rough. That is really rough. Could be anything, right? We don't know. I've got to discard them. Okay, that was a king. We know that. Creates a random joker. Must have room. Hmm. Nine, ten. Jack, queen. That's nice. I guess we play this. We're never going to get there, right? This is going to give us a multiplier at least. We've got a player. We've got no discards left. Okay. It's in touching distance. I am going to sell you and I'm going to buy you and hope that we get something really useful. What the heck is this? Earn one dollar for each nine in your full deck at the end of the round. That is not what we wanted. So I think we get rid of you. And I think we play you. Not going to get us there. 41 though is pretty nice. We're looking for a jack. Ugh. We are looking for a jack. This is a, this is a tough one. We're looking for a jack. We might have got it. I've got to go for it, right? If this isn't a jack, we're screwed. Oh my lord, we might have absolutely squeaked through. Oof. This is far closer than it needs to be. This is why I love this game. You you just don't know until you get into it what what you're going to end up playing. Um, flushes are really easy to play and straights are a little bit harder, but they're the easiest things to spot. Okay, this, I think we sell you. We're up to 28 bucks, which is nice. We're going to buy and use you, which is going to give us another random joker. This one might be better. What's this? Played face cards have a one in two chance of giving money. We need scores. We don't need that. Right? Minus one ante, minus one hand per round. Planet cards could be really useful. I'm going to re-roll. What have we got here? If the first hand of a round is a single six, destroy it and create a spectral card. This one. Ten molt if you play a flush. That's pretty big. We get rid of you and we buy you, right? This one's really interesting. I'm really tempted. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. We need we need something big. I'm not sure that's it, but let's do it. And then do we buy one of these? Let's let's do that as well. So we're looking for planets that help us. A flush or a straight leveled up is pretty nice. I think I'm tempted to go flush maybe. Although the straight getting stronger is huge. Let's do it. Be nice if we could level them both up. I don't think this was a buy two, unfortunately. This might not be enough, but here we go. We need to destroy a six. We don't have a six. What have we got? Ten, jack, queen, king, ace. Well, that's rather typical. I'm going to discard these to see if we get a six. We don't. Ten, jack, queen, king, ace. You know what? Before we do that, let's discard you. Uh, 
Okay, still no sixes. Um, let's let's use this because it's going to give us these. Three of a kind. Don't mind if I do. We could have sold these potentially and got extra interest if we get through this round, but having these just in case leveled up might come in clutch. You never know. Okay. Do I do I risk? No, I'm going to have to play a queen king jack. Let's play it. Disappointing. I really wanted to, to use this, but. So that 10 times multiplier is huge for us right now. Um, but still maybe not enough, right? We need a straight every time to, to get over the line. Um, and that was a high scoring straight. Plus one hand size, plus one malt for playing a hand without a face card in. I don't think we can get to that. Um, let's take one of you. Flush being leveled up is huge. It just gives us more options of not being completely out of the way. So if we come and check our hands over here, if we play a straight, we get 90 times eight. If we play a flush, we get 50 times six. So not horrendous. We're going to go to next round and hope that we can make this work. 16,000 we need, 16,500. Okay, seven, eight, nine. We need a 10. Because this card, remember, has got 1.5 molt on it. Okay. I think we just go all out for that then if we get a six we can play it that would be lovely i'm gonna discard you and you and you seven eight nine ten we've got what we needed still no six we'll keep this just in case we can turn one of these into a lucky card so we're gonna play seven eight nine ten got no jack let's um Let's just make you lucky. Lucky means we might get 20 bucks. We might get, a, sorry, we might get uh, 20 bucks or a 20 times multiplier. That feels unlikely, but here we go. Let's see what we get for this. This should get us over the line, I think, but it's going to be tight. Oh, maybe not. 13,000 because we didn't have that extra card. Four, five, six, seven would be lovely. If the first hand of the round. Now we get the six rather typically. Okay, four, five, six. We need a seven or a three. I think we go all out for that. This has got a ten times multiplier as well. Definitely get us over the line with this one. This card isn't really adding much to us. Okay, we keep going. I'd like to use this, but I think getting rid of this and bringing something with more malt is gonna gonna help us. Okay, each king held gives 1.5. We've got seven kings, that's huge for us, right? We sell you, we buy you. Held in hand, not in deck. Okay, that's not as good as we thought. Though we might end up, because we're not playing all of those kings, might be useful. We, this is good, because we can add another card to our deck. This is fantastic. Weirdly, I don't, the multiplications are nice, but actually getting the malts might be better for us. I know that sounds a bit silly, but by improving our our numbers here the multiplication is going to be higher right um decreased level of poker hand played oh okay so every time what this means is every time we play a straight it's going to reduce this level that's really shit we need a really good a really good straight with a king in spare really three i'm gonna get rid of all of you i think I know we're almost out of straight, but we need the good ones. Jack, 10, 9. If we get an 8 or a queen, I think we'll be pretty good. Oh, hold on. We got rid of it, right? Let's not do that. <laughs> I was about to play the hand that doesn't help us. Getting rid of you would give us a uh, would give us a tarot card, which might be quite nice, but 
I think we just go all out for a queen or a, an eight. Well, this sucks. This really sucks. Three, please. Ugh. I mean, we can play this as a pair. This doesn't score for us, which is really crappy. Select two cards, convert the left card into the right card. I could get a full house, which at the moment is worth 40 times four, but would be brought down to be really crappy. Um, I could convert you into you. Let's do this. Left card into right. I don't think this is particularly useful. Convert the left card into the right card. We'll get two of these. And then we're going to play these. Do I play these as well? Here we go. This is really rough. Look, this is basically worth nothing. I mean, it's not bad considering we're never going to get to where we need to be. This is nice. Not enough, but it's nice. Okay, don't think this is going to be it. But we have got multipliers there. It's reduced our score on straights, but... Oh, so close. We're so close to being there. Not close enough, mind you, but... Seven, eight, nine. We've got three tens. I guess we play these. I mean, that said, a queen would go. Queen would go well, right? How many queens have we got? Four. Okay. Okay. Here goes nothing. We're looking for a queen. We're looking for a queen. Is this going to be enough? It's not going to be enough. We're looking for a queen. We didn't get it. Um. I suspect this is enough. But then this is coming down. But I still suspect this is enough. I'm doing it. Oh, God. I mean, we only need 300-ish, right? This should be enough. Please be enough. Only should be enough because of the kings we've got down here. How the heck are we still going? This is the this is the tightest round every single time. Holy crap. Okay. What I love about this is that this is huge, right? We sell you, we buy you. Huge. And then we buy you. What does this do? For plus five hand size reduces by one every round. Okay, that's that means nice, but Okay. Gonna buy a steel card. We're up to 3.25 multiplier. That's huge. Let's uh, let's buy a tarot deck as well. We've got doubles our money. Converts three cards to diamonds. Converts. Let's use our double money, shall we? 22 for 24 bucks. Um, and let's re-roll. What have we got? Sell this card to disable the current blind. Earn money from face cards. Let's just go. Okay. Gives a free mega standard pack. This is huge. We're going to take this. We're going to skip this blind. We're going to go for this. Because this is going to allow us to add extra cards to our deck. And it's going to keep boosting this. So we'll take this one. And we'll take this, I think. Up to 3.75. Okay. 
be a shame these weren't the other way around. We need to get to 30k, which maybe feels a tad unlikely, but looking for a king. Perfect. We could try and keep this in hand. Let's do that. See if we can get the money. Right, let's see what this is, because this is going to get an extra 10 times malt, right? Or 12 times. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, six, seven, eight. We need a nine, please, if you don't mind. None of these are nines. How dare you? None of these are nines. But that's pretty nice. Turn one card into a steel card. I mean, I guess we could do that. I don't know if it helps us. Let's hold on to you. Okay, this should be enough to get us over the line. We've got a load of malts in here. We should well and truly get us over the line here. Huge. Huge. This is the first time we've had a bit of breathing space. Um, that was the 30,000 one. Okay. We're on round six of eight. We get another 10 bucks. Okay. What have we got here? Two chips remaining for every card in the deck. 126. Plus 10 times malt. I think you're probably better than this now. every card remaining so it is going to come down every time we draw but we are going to be adding to our deck right so since we're going to keep adding i don't think that's the end of the world right what have we got here bonus jack of clubs i think i'm going to take you and we're going to buy you as well we're up to times four now uh Hmm. Let's say this. We don't really want to keep cards in our hand. We've already got reason to to, to to do that with steel cards and so on. So, okay, we keep going. This is 40,000. Base chips and malt are halved. Ooh. Seven, eight, nine... We can get a six, that would be lovely. Ten, nine, eight, seven. This leads us close to another another uh, straight anyway, right? So let's do this. Thirty-four thousand is huge. We need a six. Uh, we can turn something into a steel card, so let's do that. I mean, we're possibly going to play this, but let's do that. We can discard you. Ten, nine, eight, seven. So we've got everything we need to play that. In fact, we should just discard you by yourself, right? Increases the rank of one card, of two cards by one. Huge, huge. Love this. You can see this, because it's got the 10 times malt, it's huge, but it came down by to $98 because of the, the cards we discarded or played. So uh, it's a little bit of a one that has diminishing returns, but okay. What's the next boss? I do have a habit of not looking at the bosses. Gains 10 chips per... Gains 10 chips if played hands contain straight. It's currently 20. If we had that really early, that would be huge. But we are just playing straights. But this has got a 10 times malt, so I don't think that's the answer. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, let's see if we can get some straight... Um, I 
guess we go with something just in case. The straight flush would have been nice, but I think we just go with something just in case we can't play it. I'm going to buy you as well. Huge. Get this back to where it was previously. Okay. Uh, we could re-roll. I'm going to do it. Uh, full house again. I'm going to skip, I think. So we could skip this to get a spectral. I think we're going to play. We need 35. Okay. Jack, 10, 9, 8. Seems like a reasonable hand to play off the... Okay, we meant straight flush. Keep forgetting about that. Keep forgetting about that. How's it? Oh, I guess because... You're looking for a flush on four cards. I was like, how is this a straight flush? But it's because it's a flush and a straight. Because we only need it on four cards. Huge. Huge. We got the ten times malt plus the ten times malt for it being a flush. We need to try and keep an eye out for that if my tiny little brain can comprehend it. Okay. Flush. Yes, please. Now a buffoon pack uh, adds jokers. If, or you could buy a joker, but I think we're pretty set with our jokers. Let's buy this. What have we got? Converts to spades. Gives the total sell value of your current jokers. So that would be more money. Creates two tarot cards. We'll take those because they might come in really handy. Makes one a wild card. Makes one a lucky card. Next round. Okay, 52 grand. Then we're up to 70. Ouchie. I'm looking for an eight, as it turns out. None of you are eights. Or even a joker would be lovely. Um, what the hell do I do here? we get rid of you no sign of an eight anywhere five six seven this is probably not enough when we've used all of our discards um let's have a think about this so five six seven eight nine we get rid of that we can play the ten we've got no way of making this a straight Blush, right? We could turn one of you into a lucky card since you were so hard to find. Let's use this. I may as well you no, we'll hold off just in case. Okay, here we go. Come on, please. Huge. Okay. One free re-roll doesn't really help us. The standard pack is absolutely what we want. And I guess it's you. Malt with 4.5. We'll buy you as well. Now, bonus cards I think are important. So before we do that, let's make one a wild card. Wild card means it can be used as any suit. And then we'll convert you guys into bonus cards. Just means we get extra chips when we play them, which obviously all helps in the multiplier. I think let's re-roll. Clubs creates two planet cards. Don't mind if I do. Not the ones we wanted, but let's hit next. Okay, all face cards are debuffed. That's bad news. They can still work for us. So if we had a, a Joker here, they can still work for us. But based on where we are, 10, 9, 8. Ugh. I mean, it is a straight at least. 
don't want to be the best straight, but I think we play it. Because actually, although we're losing stuff on there, it's not going to be a massive kick in the balls, really. You know, it's still 42,000, and that's with those cards debuffed. Right, let's let's use these. We could sell, in fact, I'm tempted to sell one of these. If this, is this the full house? If the four of a kind, if this comes back to bite me in the backside, I'm going to be so disappointed. 10, 9, 8, 7. We need a 7. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, so we could get lucky, lucky here. Twenty bucks could be coming our way. Nothing from the first one. Nothing from the second one. Very disappointing. How much do we get in total, though? How much was that? Seventy-four was it? Nice, another Joker unlock. This this has been going on for so long. I apologize and has been one that we've really had to work for uh, okay that was the lot this is the last round i think what's this one or two chance to create a tarot card with any booster pack is opened first hand of any round only has one card add a permanent copy to the deck and draw it to hand interesting too late for us let's buy another one of these take a four up to 4.75 we'll definitely take this uh the the flush would have been lovely straight flush it is i think we have to i think i think this is the last round i think we have to re-roll and see if there was anything we wanted to buy which there isn't Oh no, we've still got one round left. Okay. Do we want to skip for a spectral pack? I don't know. It could give us a chance to add cards, so let's do it. Could also screw us over royally, but let's do it. Add a blue seal to one of your cards. Add a gold seal to one of your cards. Not really what we were looking for. We'd have been better off getting the money and trying to add cards to our deck. Upgrade full house. If that was straight, I'd have absolutely taken it. Okay. Seven, eight. Looking for a queen over here, really. Can't believe I'm getting rid of multi cards. Seven, eight, nine. I guess we push for that. I guess we still push for that. Jack, you need a 10. You need a 10, please. None of you are 10s. Seven, eight, nine. This is not helping me. This does not help me either. Let's discard that. We'll at least get a, uh, a thing for it, right? Well, that's nice at least. What does this do? Multi cards. Okay, so we can play it on you two. Another Joker unlocked. Now we can play you. So we did get the 1.5 for having this down here. That's 56,000. This should easily get us over the line, especially now. Been nice to have been holding on to that queen in our hand, but having the extra 40 chips in these is so nice. And that gets us 75 just by getting an extra 40 odd chips into there or 30 odd chips into there. Okay, now I think we're into the last round uh, or the last boss. I guess we go standard. Still looking to add cards to our deck we'll take you and we will take a spectral pack anything that adds cards i think is good convert all to one suit add a red seal add a purple seal add a gold seal 
none of these really if so if we converted all of these to a single suit that gives us more chance of getting a straight flush right which is 140 times 11. i think we have to do it i'm just a little bit worried that we're going to be end up with flush the temptation of flushes which we're really not built towards but that's fine okay all cards are debuffed until one joker is sold ouch i don't really want to sell any of these i think we have to keep this because the chances of getting straights with everything is really low this is the one that has to go right it's huge that really hits us where it hurts um okay what have we got six seven eight we can get rid of all of you and you and see what we find we need a we need a jack a uh, joe a jack that's the word okay king queen oh no queen jack ten that being the place i may as well play you as well right this is going to be rough from the scores we were getting we got to get to a hundred thousand though we've got an extra 40 odd in here which is nice or extra chips in here is nice it's still pretty rough in comparison Ugh. i guess we play these at least we've got the polychrome in here. Oh, I think I can move this before we play this. We'll check this out next time. If we get it next time. I think we could have moved this down where we were playing it. And that would have added our multiplier. Higher, I think. What have we got here? Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Don't mind if I do. We're looking for a good joker to refill our our deck with. Those free chips could come in huge for us. Another joker's been on. Oh, we won. That was the final boss. I thought we had one more. Um, we did it. We, I thought there was one more round at the end of it. Uh, best hand, 84,000. Most played hand, a straight of 32. That was huge, right? That was a... Bear in mind, I mean, it's on the easiest mode, right? Uh, we're going to go with endless mode, but... That was a real i enjoyed that a lot it was a real battle to get over the line we will just play this one through see how many rounds we can get through on endless it will ramp up i think quite a lot um perfect it's given us the joker back that we needed let's buy another pack to add some cards to our deck um don't mind if i do 5.25 multiplier let's keep going then we're up to 110,000. we're just going to keep going until we now, whenever we complete one, we will just keep going to see where we get to. This is, this is interesting. Like a uh, six, seven, eight. Um, I like the fact that I have to count them. Let's get rid of you and just see if we can get a, a, a proper straight in here. This isn't helping me. <laughs> this isn't helping me at all. Come on. Why are you being like this? Okay, I don't know why I was holding on to that seven. Right, so here's what we're going to do. is We're going to take this seven and move it over here, right? So it's at the end. And we're going to take this six and move it over here. Because I, I think these will trigger last. And then we'll four we'll get more of a malt for these, I think. Okay. We might be in a bit of a problem because now we've used all of our all of our car discards. Um we can play a flush. Not really what we're not really what we're set up for, but it'd be interesting to know how far it gets us. In fact, you know what? 
let's play it. No, we'll get rid of you. Let's see where it brings us out. I mean, that's not bad, is it? 60,000 for a flush. A four card flush with a re-trigger on a low card. We'll take that. Okay, what have we got? Another standard pack. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind. Don't mind if I do. What have we got here now? 165. That's quite the ramping up, to be fair. That's quite the ramping up. Need a jack. No, I need it. I need a jack. No. I need a jack. Come on. I mean, I guess I'm getting rid of you, hoping for this jack. Ah. Uh. Well, we're going all out for it. I think we're at the end of where we're getting to, but maybe we'll get a jack. Even then, I don't know if a jack is enough. I mean, it's not enough. Oh, come on. Why you got to be like this? This is not going to cut it. Just so you, just so you know. What is happening? Have I got any jacks? I've got five jacks. Okay, this needs to go. This needs to go hard. We got a jack. So ace, king, jack, <laughs> ace, king, queen, jack, ten. Okay. So the plus point, and we've got this in here. I don't think it's going to be enough, but let's have a little look. It's a, I mean, it's the best hand we could play apart from that king. It's one of the best hands we could play apart from having polychrome. Not going to be enough. Ooh, we were close. A little bit unlucky. We pushed it on that last one, but there you go. Um, look, this game, I love it. We're going to play loads more on the channel. We got a load of new unlocks. Uh, let's go and have a little look at our collection so we can see here we got Joker unlocked. Doubles all listed probabilities. Okay, that sounds fun. A new blue deck. Another Joker unlocked. Joker, Tarot, Planet and Spectral cards may appear at multiple times. Interesting. A yellow deck. Another Joker unlocked for reaching eight. We've seen this one in the demo. Time stream malt played if scoring hand includes a diamond club. Uh, add heart and a spade. Another joker. This is the not discovered. Time tree mole if you have at least 16 enhanced cards. Okay. I'm going to run without playing four of a kind. Nice. This one we like. This is the blueprint, I think it's called. So it basically copies another joker. Uh, magic deck. Win around with a red deck. Okay. Green deck. The end of each round, plus two per remaining hand. Plus one run remaining discard, but you earn no interest. Let's have a little look at the collection. So this is what we're going to be working towards. We can see, obviously, we've got 16 jokers in here. And you can see there's a hell of a lot more, um, which is I'm so excited about. The fact that we don't know what some of these are, and we're going to find them out as we go. And then there's a load of locked ones still. Uh, we've got some enhanced cards. We can see all of those. Seals we've seen. Uh, we've got additions. Base, holographic. We haven't got some of the others. Um, holographic. We've got some arcana packs. We'll see some of those as we go. We've got some celestial packs. We've got all of the standard packs bar one. 
and then we got our spectral packs as well love that uh, tags we've seen these there's a lot more to choose from there here are our blinds i love the fact that there's a load more enemies as well interesting look at this look at this okay uh, and then we've got our tarot cards so we can kind of work our way through these as we as we get them but you know what round one or run one of our balatro playthrough was a success and it was it was a hard thought one i really liked it. i hope you did too if you like this game please go and check it out let me know your thoughts on it thank you so much for watching um hit the like button subscribe button leave me a comment that really helps share the video that all helps with engagement uh, if you want to support the channel a little bit more check out youtube members every video that we upload you will have early access to that will likely include many more baltro videos but balatro videos but there's an awful lot more uh, on the channel as well and coming up on the channel thank you so much i'll see you again soon